Hey everyone, this is Tiago Forte, creator and instructor of the Building a Second Brain course. I wanted to show you a quick case study about how to use a second brain to successfully complete online courses. One thing I've heard from many of you is that you've had bad experiences with online courses, and you know what, I totally get it. I remember what that feels like, where you get your expectations super high, you have these big goals, these big dreams, you see all these success stories, and then the course starts, maybe you start off with some momentum, but then what inevitably happens, life gets in the way, right? There's errands to run, home improvements to make, work gets crazy, the holidays come, all these things get in the way of you dedicating the time and effort to this online course. So I wanna show you um, kind of a little case study here. One of the first people who took this course in the first cohort almost three years ago, after finishing the course, he told me, this is the course I should have taken before all the other ones. It's the one that would, would have helped me take advantage of all those other ones. And let me show you what I mean. So here are some notes that I took on a, a course on documentary filmmaking. Uh, it was taught on the platform Masterclass where different celebrities and well-known experts teach different things. And it's by someone I really admire who's Ken Burns. He's a, a very prolific documentary filmmaker known for many, many films. And it's a great example where, you know, I took this course maybe over the course of a week, um, maybe just uh, one or two lessons in the evenings. And really, it's very straightforward. I have this one note, which I found by typing in masterclass in the search. You can see it gives me lots of other recommendations. Um, and I just started writing down the things that stuck out to me, the things that surprised me, the things that I didn't expect to hear. Um, and then as I went on and realized I had more than just these few points, I started creating subsections. This is something that I'll teach you is adding structure to your notes when it's actually needed and required rather than upfront, which can be very taxing. Um, so I kind of created more and more structure and more and more headings. Um, had a, a screenshot here because I didn't want to you know, copy and paste all this. Um, had some, some more extensive quotes and things, links. I saved the PDF from the course, which is something they give you to kind of summarize the lessons. Um, and then I summarized it using this special highlighting technique that I've developed called progressive summarization, which has more to it than meets the eye. It looks like it's just some highlighting, but there is definitely a system behind it. And the reason this is so powerful is I really did this very casually. You can see this is not a you know super structured, organized thing. It's really just casual offhand notes that I wrote. Um, but what is valuable is, as I was going through the course, instead of trying really hard to learn, you know, trying to force the knowledge into my head somehow, I was just doing something very practical and concrete, which is taking these notes. And what these notes became as I was creating them was a resource. They became a reference that I could come back to again and again and again. And, you know, taking a step back here, so often with an online course, you are consuming what is often a body of knowledge that took the person years, many years in many cases, to, to develop. It's probably not the case that you're going to instantaneously be able to just intake all that knowledge all at once. It's gonna take time, it might take months. I've taken some courses where it took me a couple years to completely integrate everything that I had learned. So what that means is you're gonna make multiple passes. The first time you go through it, you'll get a certain percentage of that knowledge. The second time you'll get another additional percentage and so on. And in the case of, of this uh, course, the, the reason I was taking it was for a project that I'm doing, which is a, an amateur documentary film that I'm filming on my iPhone using really basic equipment um, about my dad, who's an artist and, and his work. And it's a project that's gonna take a year and a half so it's already been about nine months and I find myself returning to just this single note again and again and again because it's so rich, it's so insight dense. Um, and knowing that I have this as a reference and a resource, I don't feel like I had to get everything the very first time. And therefore I feel like I got everything that I wanted to get out of the course and therefore I have the confidence and the motivation and, and the momentum to keep going on my project but also to take other kinds of courses. So. What I want you to take away from this case study is just that a second brain is such a powerful and flexible tool. It can actually facilitate and make all your other learning from all the other books and articles and yes, online courses, uh, just so much more effective, thereby just increasing the ROI, the return on investment of all that time and effort and money that you're spending. Thanks.